Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 12 of my Automate Everything series for Modern Minecraft 1.16. In today's episode, I'm going to automate a compression chamber from the mod Pneumatocraft, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to set up an export system for coal, and that is because I actually need to run some air compressors, so let's go ahead and do that first. So uh, right now I do have too many things in my inventory, um, but we'll sort that out here in just a second. I actually need one of those things that aren't in my inventory right now, and that would be this right here. So let me put this right down, and this is an ME interface, and this will allow me to interact with uh, another block beside here, and I want to put a chest down right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then the next thing I need to do is... Um, Actually, I put that uh, ME interface and chest and not quite where I want them. Uh, so let's actually move this aside because what I want to do is I want to put the ME interface right here. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and put the ME interface down right here. Uh, I need to put the chest here. And then let's go ahead and set up a pattern terminal. That way we can interact with our ME system. Um, and to do this, you will need an active ME system. And uh, for the automation today, I'm going to be using the mods Applied Energistics 2, obviously, and Pneumatocraft. Uh, Pneumatocraft is where the pressure chamber is from, and you will need some pressure chamber walls, pressure chamber glass, and you'll need uh, a couple of these pressure chamber interfaces and at least one pressure changer, uh, chamber valve. So let's go ahead and set this up. And you can make this in different sizes. I'm going to do a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube. Uh, that is the largest I think that it will let you do by default. Uh, you might be able to do bigger if you really, if uh, if you can alter config files, but I don't know about that at all. Um, it it does say five by five is the biggest, so we're going big. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this. It is a obviously a multi-block structure, and uh, on the outer edges you need uh, this pressure chamber wall and on the inner parts you can use the glass so i'm going to use glass wherever i can basically um, on over here i'm going to actually have my pressure chamber chamber interfaces and these are sided they have an i side and an o side on uh, you want uh, one i on the inside and one, one o on the inside so this will be where the items go in and over here will be where the items come out so that's how that works. Let's go ahead and lay the rest of this glass down real fast. And we just need to basically cover the rest of the area here. Okay, so a couple more sides to go. I need to do the top. And then it should form up and have new textures and that should tell you that it is formed. So I missed something somewhere maybe. Did I miss something somewhere? Okay, yeah. Um, you might need this to complete the structure. It's the valve. So let's see here. There we go. Uh, now I know that it is a good, uh, a good system here. So now I need to put down some air compressors. And actually, I had more air compressors. They, uh, the rest of them exploded. Uh, let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in volume and speed upgrades as many as I can. I'm just going to use this one air compressor if that will work. And to feed that air compressor, we're going to need coal. So I have a little export system here for coal. Let's set up that. Uh, let's export coal into this chest right here. We do have these uh, acceleration carts to make that faster. And then we need to get this coal over to this air compressor. And we're going to do it with these ultimate uh, logistical transporters. You can use any any item pipes that you uh can think of and this should work just fine so I'm going to configure this to be an output and there we go so I make an error here and that was not smart to set up this before the pressure tube so I do want to hook this up eventually to the pressure chamber wall right here but first I want to hook up this pressure valve and what this will do is it will emit redstone signal uh, dependent upon the uh, Shoot, and I actually want this to shut off right now. Okay, I did not mean for that to happen. And that's what happens when you have too much pressure in these pipes. They will burst. 
So this uh, redstone system is actually meant to be a safeguard, but I didn't have that set up and that was kind of dumb of me. So let's go ahead and set this to uh, be low signal. And let's actually complete this redstone circuit. Okay, so uh, for each each block space of redstone here, it should uh, each each one psi on this or one bar of pressure should uh, be equivalent to uh, redstone power of two, and uh, two bar should be th uh, four redstone, um, three three bar would be six redstone, so on and so forth. So uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing is telling this thing to stop stop pumping once it. Uh, gets up to a certain pressure, which is about 3.5 bar. I believe I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven redstone beforehand. So let's go ahead and actually connect this up. It should start filling this uh, pressure chamber with uh, pressure here. The thing is, this is very large, so it uh, does need a lot of air to fill that up, which is why I had speed upgrades in the first place, but uh, I needed to uh, get everything else in order beforehand. So once this gets up to about uh, 0.5 bar, or this this air tube here gets to 0.5 bar, we should start seeing some redstone. And hopefully this safeguard is actually uh, functional here. So let's actually change this redstone mode to low signal. Oh, I didn't even have it running. That was dumb. So low signal, so basically when it gets a redstone signal, it should shut off, uh, theoretically. So that's so we don't have things explode when we're not uh, needing the pressure or anything. Okay, so what we need to do now is let's actually get back to uh, what we need to do here. And you can see the redstone signal now. So that's how that is supposed to work. And yeah, as you can tell, we actually have a lot less pressure here than we do down here, which is unideal. Let me, let me do this real fast. That was, that had a wonky connection. Okay, so I'm actually going to take out some speed upgrades because uh, I'm worried about getting overpressure down here. And then let's uh, let's now focus on this. So we have an ME interface here, which allows us to interact with this chest right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to set up a pipe that will allow us to export things into the pressure chamber here. And we need to set this up to be insert. And uh, I don't need to do anything here, but over here on this one, I do need to do something. This will only export crafted ingredients, so it won't export uh, anything. You can do all, but that's obviously not what we want to do here. So let's go ahead and put this down and set this up to... I did not mean to do that. Oh. Yeah, I need it on configurate mode. So there we go. We should get items into this chest right here. That should be the finished product. And if I actually wanted to get these back into the ME system, it'd be real easy. All I'd have to do is have this export back into the ME interface instead of a chest. But for purposes of showing you that this will work, I uh, put it going into that chest. So the recipe that we're going to be doing today is the compressed iron recipe. And let's take a look at that real fast. Uh, there are two ways to make compressed iron. Uh, one of them is through inward crafting, through explosion crafting, and the other is using this pressure chamber. Basically, you need uh, two bar of pressure, and you will turn iron ingots into compressed iron. So that's going to be our recipe right here. So let's get some blank patterns, put them in here into the pattern terminal, and tell this system that one iron will equal one compressed iron. And let's... Why is that not letting me click there? Okay. So I need to get an iron ingot. And let's set that recipe right there. Let's put this in and let's tell the system to make some of these bad boys. So let's get some compressed iron. And it should uh, automatically insert it into the pressure chamber like so. So we don't have quite enough pressure just yet. So let me reinsert some speed upgrades if I'm feeling all right about all the pressure here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, let's get this pressure hopping. So yeah, the pressure, there's a considerable pressure differential here, which is why I'm not super into using so many speed upgrades in the air compressor. Um, if this tube was shorter, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but since we actually have several spaces here, it kind of is. And you can hear that uh, the compressed iron popped and then it is now coming into this chest. 
So that seems to have worked. So let's actually tell it to make much, much more. Let's do 128, which is two stacks. Okay, so I'm... Um, okay, so it didn't insert very many in the first place. I'm not really sure why it did like a partial stack rather than a whole stack. But it should do a stack at a time. Each uh, door should be able to do a stack at a time. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take these back out. But that is how you automate compressed iron using a pressure chamber from the Mod Pneumatocraft. Um, you definitely should be careful, like I showed earlier, uh, because you can get over pressure and you can have things explode. But that's why you have these pressure gauges and some redstone. And uh, this system should work just fine for me. It's just I didn't have it quite set up when I actually got things going. So let's take a look to see if all of our compressed iron is here. And it is, so that is pretty fantastic. If you feel like you learned something today, definitely feel free to drop a like down below. And if you like watching automation type stuff in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.